A Tennessee father was arrested for trying to pick up his own kids from school. South Cumberland Elementary, in all its wisdom, decided to institute this ludicrous policy which banned parents from collecting their children from school, forcing the kids to walk out into moving traffic where parents were ordered to wait in their vehicles. Standing up against this patently dangerous policy, father of two Jim Howe calmly asserted his right to take possession of his own children at the end of the school day and was arrested for doing so. That's, they're walking with me. They're walking with me when school is dismissed. No, we're not. Per state law, yes they are. No. No, you're really barking up the wrong tree. You're barking up the the county jail where you go. It's fine, I've been there before. Good. You're about to go there again. That's no problem. You just open yourself up for a lawsuit. It'll be another one. Go get your lawsuit. I don't care. You're not intimidating me, Jim. Nobody's You're not doing it. I don't me. care how many lawyers you I'm not, not, I don't I'm not really my voice. Free. I'm not confrontational. I want my kids. You're a confrontation. Nope. You're starting. Nope. Don't go, go by the school rules. You no, don't call the sheriff on me. The sheriff has nothing to do with the coming out for the education. Law. School's dismissed. Kids go with me. Nope. No. Please excuse me. School within is out. Reason- they will give you your child, but it is the same way now. Tennessee it. state law says within a reasonable amount of time that is 15 minutes. Put your minutes. Mind back. Okay, no problem. Go ahead. Open yourself up for a lawsuit. You either get out of the way of traffic or you're going to jail too. You understand me? Um, hang on just a second. I got to get rid of The father has vowed to pursue a lawsuit, and judging by even the local sheriff's reaction, who largely took his side, he's got a very good chance of success. But in most authoritarian societies, the gradual shift towards tyranny is characterised by the state's treatment of your children as their own property. What we're seeing is a collectivist agenda to eviscerate parents' rights and redefine children as belonging to the community. And it's a notion which is being promoted heavily by the mainstream media. We have never invested as much in public education as we should have because we've always had kind of a private notion of children. Your kid is yours and totally your responsibility. We haven't had a very collective notion of these are our children. So part of it is we have to break through our kind of private idea that kids belong to their parents or kids belong to their families and recognize that kids belong to whole communities. Schools across America are also telling parents that they need to have a doctor's note in order for their children to be allowed to bring packed lunches while others are fining parents for not including certain items in packed lunches. Meanwhile, in other major Western countries, children are being assigned a state minder from birth under draconian new proposals that would enable the government to spy on families under the justification of preventing child abuse. Here in Britain today, the social services are complaining that they are overwhelmed because of the sheer number of demands from schools, local authorities and individuals to investigate so-called child abuse. But what constitutes child abuse? Well, I had a conversation recently with a teacher who was quite proud of the fact that she called social services on a slightly overweight child because his parents had given him two chocolate bars to bring to school. I also had a conversation with a rental property inspector and again she was very very proud of the fact that she had grasped up parents to social services because their house was messy you know because houses full of kids are renowned for being clean and tidy aren't they here's an idea why don't you mind your own damn business why are we seeing this predatory inclination to go after our children by people who get some sort of fetishist, authoritarian, self-satisfied kick out of informing on parents. Because it's being driven by a system that makes money out of stealing children. In the US, every time the CPS, Child Protective Services, grabs another child and feeds them into the protective government care system, where they are just as, if not more likely to be abused, they receive a bounty of $4,000. That's right. They make money from stealing kids. Maybe the CPS should uh, start hiring paedophiles because, you know, they share the same expertise. Oh, I forgot. That's right. They already do. This is the dream 
of all collectivists, socialists and communists to break up the family in order to transfer more power over to the state. And if they make a tidy profit along the way, then that's a nice little bonus for them. But unfortunately for the predators, Americans are pulling their kids out of the public education system in droves. The number of children being homeschooled in America has increased by 75% over the past 14 years in all states. The message is being sent to the state and the public re-education system. Our kids are not your property. And we will resist your totalitarian child abuse. Hit the subscribe button. More videos coming soon. Check us out on Twitter at twitter.com slash prisonplanet. I'm Paul Joseph Watson reporting for Infowars.com.